but Max, I'm sure you know what being a hero feels like, right? Yes, Daddy. You see, being a part of the most prestigious mercenary squad, it's not going to be rainbows and unicorns out in the field. I've been fighting with blood and sweat to the forests, the deserts, prison facilities and islands. No matter who or what's coming after you, you take one measure and rip them apart with your bare hands. How bad was it in these places? Very bad. But once you go out and embrace the beauty of danger, it'll be a thrill of a lifetime. It wouldn't be the same without my best friend and the spirit warrior of the team. That's done! As we call him, Gunner is always full of bravado with his machine gun, always tearing apart the bandits and brutes as he held the trigger. He's badass prodigy. Yeah, the legend! So tell me, do I get to see Axton at the range soon? Tomorrow, right after school, son. And I heard about some time he would like to have a son like you someday. Just wanted to let you know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, sir. Looks like the island of Hicks have been a while ago. Might need to. Attention, sounds of falling activity are detected again. Meanwhile, be close to the building. Be close to the designated area of the media group. Rocket and Roland with Kara Hellenbach Kensington. These days, when a friend says something is too little, a period too big before we know it, the boys and girls are running with their hands in the air, uniform check, and getting ready for their first day of school. Or in this case, one of the most fit missions to go to the Big Corp history. And me, I'm still here to provide you the greatest hits of, well, whatever time period we think we're living in. But let's pretend it's the good old days, right? This is beyond breaking.
Sir, Transport 2 has crashed into the island, sir. Hmm, I got it. I'll get it taken care of. I win, two out of one, let's go baby! Sorry, I just really like the victory. Well, this heat vision gets hard to get used to. I can still see you. Well, you react pretty fast as my grandmother looking for her crocheting kit. Even then she's faster finding it than you finding me. Man, no need to be all over me for it. Anyways, I'll catch up with you and fight next time. Gotta get with my team. You should do. Heh. <laughs> Elite kids these days, right? Always full of themselves because of the fact they're superior to us. Don't worry, Max. I know you can't stand up. Hey, Kathy. What you staring at? Ugh, nothing. Why do you care? No, it's okay. I deal with Lucas about every day. A bit of a nuisance, but he's tolerable. Surely. Come on. Alpha Squad's waiting for you. So you're stuck with the Alpha Squad? Forever. That's what it'll be. I'll tell you a lot more about this job. I'm sure you'll understand. Son, there's far more than just fighting. You get to go to places and take out all the uneven things in life. Like for me, I took the storm in the deserts, making sure all corruption and tyranny is all no more, but to dust. Remember, remember that you're the one to make the choices. Wow, how bad was the desert? We had to go far places. We had to go through the vigor of the everlasting heat and wait for the imminent threats that arrive in our dead sights. Hey, Commander Axton, there's business going for you. I got myself a rookie in our team, Maxwell. Won't you look at that? Fresh meat's back in the house. Ha, <laughs> ha, come on, I'm just joking with you. Hey, Axton, is this a kid? Yes. Hey, Jack, nice to see you once again. I see you at the range carrying that big light machine gun of yours. Is that something I can carry? Nah, this big gun's for big boys only. We'll definitely need it for one special occasion. Yeah, this island monster, and he really wants revenge on it. Like, do you even believe that, Max? Island monster? Sounds like something my baby brother once wrote for his first grade literature project. Look, it's hard to believe, but ever since that happened, I wasn't the same again. Like, I told everyone about this and no one believed me. Heck, none of the personnel even know where the scratches yeah, came from. Yeah, he lost his mind, but let's meet you in the group. Fluffy bear. So, is that Max we have here? Of course not, Ash. Who else do you expect? 
Cool. So we're all here together? I swear, I don't remember everything about this team. Yes, sir. Jackson's there too, but he's a little too ticked off to be with us right now. May I reintroduce the team now? The sniper, Ashwin Singh, will do anything for his family. Mind-blowing stuff, especially. The Gunner, Jackson Wickham Jr., purely motivated by vengeance, wrath, and best of all, 556 five, NATO cartridges. The Medic, Mila Romanov, the nurse of the team. She cares a lot about the safety of others, especially her husband, Jack. Oh, hey, that part stung a bit, sweet nectar. And there's me, the commander, Axton Reardon, the man taking the father's throne while his son will continue the heritage. We haven't got to know a lot about you, kid. Tell me about yourself. I'm the spotter, Max Volin. I specialize in seeing things, handling hindrances, and just getting stuff done. I'm also the son of the old commander, you know, Shunlin. His dad's real tough when he used to be my commander. Like hell. Like hell, he still gives me the chills to this very day. I bet this father's boy is going to be exactly like it when he stays a little longer. Ah, glad you're here. We've been looking for another member for a very long time. Ever since one of ours didn't make it out of the warehouse fight a while ago. Uh, what happened to him? He got pinned down by a bunch of prisoners. We couldn't save him after what they've done to him. So I'm taking his place? Correct, son. Finish taking a breather? Oh, screw you. Look, I'm gonna save my emotions for later. I just want to know, what do you want me to do with the kid? Well, he's been on the simulation with the amateurs and the elites. Maybe it's time he'll get connected, to learn a thing or two from you guys. What do you say? Sounds good. He'll know something to help him survive, in case one of us dies. I doubt this kid can last in an actual mission, so I think we should teach him something. The key importance to shooting is to make sure you hit your target and to control your shots with a little bit of patience. Your targets will most likely be mid-range, but mine's far range. Okay, I'm sure this is easy. All I just need to... This isn't a race to get your hunt first. You just need to breathe in, take your time, keep the reticle at your enemy, and release. Don't wait too long though. Breathe in, take my time, keep the reticle at the enemy, release, don't wait too long. Hitting the torso won't be enough. He'll be limping and will potentially escape. Wouldn't he bleed out though? Potentially, but if he does pull out some bandages and takes care of himself at your sight, hit him again. He won't bleed forever. And speaking of bleeding, you've got to learn the importance of the health of your comrades. I'm sure you know how bandages work, right? So it's like tape. Duh. But it can only stick to itself. Not to the skin. So you always got to make sure the wrapping is tight as possible. To make sure no blood will seep out. Only apply the bandage at the affected area, and soon enough... I think this dummy has affected areas all over its body. Those plastic scratches, kid, they don't heal back. Now, would it be a great time to see who can handle recoil, Max? Sure. Unlike Ashwin, who is always about perfection, I'm all about cleaning the room. Watch and learn. The simulation has been terminated.
There. Now you try. Simulation has been terminated. Well, kid, looks like you need to learn a thing or two about control. Man, I think I prefer short bursts. We're probably not going to encounter that many enemies anyways. Alpha Squad, please report to DD Room 3A. Alpha Squad, please report to DD Room 3A. Anyways, see you at the meeting room. An old poster. <laughs> There's Axton, Dad, and these three people. I don't really know, but <laughs> I bet they could be really awesome people. I want you to be more careful next time we walk. Oh, you're that pretty boy from the simulation room, are you? Kathy, are you seriously down for Maxwell? Is this why you're staring so freakishly oh, at the wind? Yes. I'm sorry. What? Oh, I'm just trying to get to the meeting room. I'm in some important business right now. Can we talk later? What's up? I'd be glad to what we do. Okay, thanks. Kathy, I swear, this is the fourth time you've been hitting guys lately and hitting up with my good lifelong friend is kind of weird. Can you think about dumping him later Shut and- up, Lucas. Scream your balls, kick your eye, your own bunkers. Good morning, Alpha Squad. You have been activated for an urgent mission as Transport 2 has crashed into an abandoned island. Uh, what makes it so special? Well, while it was still in operation by the B Corps Island Laboratory Division, many new experiments were conducted there, and many new anomalies are documented on the database. Unfortunately, we are forced to shut it down for one cataclysmic day. Not the first time B Corps got some serious mess up, but damn! I've heard a lot about this incident, and I wish we would have been there to stop this. Speaking of the Devil Commander, this might be a fun mission to get revenge on that damn demon. Shut up. Just exactly how did the boat out of all places end up there? What made it crash to begin with? My intel says there's been ruptured tears on the hull of the boat. Loud noises of what sound like roaring occur within the ship. At the time of the incident, there was a tropical storm that made the waters aggressive. But how it ended up there is up to my investigators. Did the prisoners survive? All 18 of them? From the latest signal of the radar waves, it appears that all of them survived, and they're scattering all over the island. Are we going to be rescuing them? By what you mean by rescuing them, I am assume you meant by our words of rescue. Yes, we are. So can we get more information? 
on this monster on this island? There is no monster. What I advise for all of you to do is just to focus on your mission. Take care of all the prisoners. And then contact Bay 62 so you can leave home. Quick question, could we engage the monster if it is uh, harming us? Jackson again, there is no such thing as a monster. No other paranormal activity was detected at the island by any means, and I'm sure your only threats bestowed to the prisoners if they happen to grab any weapons by any chance. Yes, sir. We are sending a B Corp Chinook to Helipad C1. You will go to Helipad C1, and I advise you to eat something before you go, because it will be a long trip to the island. I'll be in touch. That's cool, <laughs> I guess. The contractors acting like this island was spontaneously shut down for whatever reason. I feel he's trying to hide a secret that we already know about. Didn't the contractors say that there was a monster that caused the island division's downfall before? Yeah? Why the hell is he denying all of this even though he knows- If you don't shut up about this monster, I'm gonna cut your tongue off and make sure you don't speak again Axton. by any- Jackson! Stop it! Stop fighting! I've already heard this monster bullcrap all the time, and silencing your best friend over his hardship doesn't help his case at all. Contractor's lapdog. What did you say to me?! Ah, fucking- Calm down. Calm down. Just because Mila is right, you get angry. Now stop. Do not do this to Sweet Nectar ever again. God damn. Jeez, could we get along first, put aside this nonsense later? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mila, for pushing you like that. It's alright. You heard the kid. Save this for later. If it isn't the Papa's boy. Maxwell, I'm surprised you had the audacity to thereon jeopardize yourself. Good luck on your mission. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll be here when you're in a pickle. Thanks there, Lucas. So I heard about the keys on the island that have been scattered there for ages. I bet they will mean something. Whoa, cool. What's their importance? That's why I want to figure that out. I bet it could lead somewhere, to another dimension, to some treasure that could cost fortunes, to uncover secrets. Who knows? I'm really curious. Besides, I got this device that tracks these keys. And I swear the contractor does not know about this. Maxwell. Let's go, pilot! Mother, I'm sure this classified mission isn't that concerning. After all, you're calling me at least three times this week over this. I'll let you know when I'm okay, eh? I can get a little talkative here. Any one of you would like to explain your backstories? Well, I'm already happy that I explained a lot about me. I bet you're looking at these guys here. Well, Max, my whole goal is just to make sure all of you are safe. We've been in one piece for years straight. And with a little expertise in treating injuries helps out every time. Except I've been getting calls from my mother every time missions get around. Like I got Fluffy Bear with me. And I've been doing this for years, but she is worried about my safety. Damn, Mila. I had a mother that cared about my safety too, except all she does is check over if I'm doing good in school or not. I know. It's ridiculous. It's at least better than my first grade dream of being a nurse. Fighting is a selfless act. Protecting other people and things that mean to other people. Helping your colleagues overcome the obstacles that they couldn't get past. And doing for what's right. Definitely better than doing paperwork and looking over people dying in their beds. Let alone, the hospital's already got enough nurses. Yes, and Max, if you need a doctor, you have me. Cool, cool. And what about? Me? I'm just here to help my family. My mom works double jobs and has to take care of my four brothers. And I'm just holding this rifle, making sure every shot counts. So, you're all about family, Ash? Yes. I've been working this job for years. They are the incentive to motivate me to take risk and to do what I have to do. Had about 45 heads written on my rifle for a reason, that's for sure. 45 heads, huh? Must have been a heck of a career. So, how's your family? They are doing fine. They always wanted me to do this job. And my 7-year-old cousin likes telling stories about me. His favorite is the one time where I killed a 4 arm mutant about a month ago. Ah. And Jackson, I could fairly say it's obvious what his backstory is all about. Just don't bother asking him again. You'll get him to ramble. Makes me wish I could stitch his mouth shut in his sleep. Seriously? 
No, not really. Not yet, at least. Axton, I think your bravado is making me scared. Like, I'm pretty sure this monster shit- Nonsense. We all know B Corp are big-time conspiracists. I bet them sissies got nightlights all over this island. Now, enough complaints for now. Oh, okay. So, should I be very excited that this was my first major mission? Of course, son. If we can make this all clean, then it definitely won't be your last. Man, I swear I had barely any rest when I got here early. I need to drowse out. What's going on with you? We need to leave this place! Oh now you done fucked up now! G guys, Th this isn't funny. What's happening? Guys, guys, just stop. This isn't a laughing matter, please! Please, stop looking at me! Stop looking at me! Max, <sighs> are you okay? Damn, what a nightmare. I don't know what that is about. Take a deep breath. We're almost at our location. Guys, come over here. Alpha Squad is on the island. I'll do whatever you want to do. My goodness, Ashwin. Commander, this was the plan? Is that what the contractor meant by rescue? Should we at least have them taken back? Just think of these gremlins like they're full of malice. They must have robbed a convenience store or committed arson. Maybe they kick puppies for fun. See this? Looks peculiar, isn't it? No bullet holes. These scratches aren't even... Fluffy bear, I love you, but... Can you pipe down on that monster thing for at least one hour? I don't like this. I feel something's not right. It's just some animal that got him. Clearly, wildlife is said to be abundant at the time this place was running. There's still life here. It's easy for us to get caught by Mother Nature sometimes. This isn't Mother Nature. This is completely something else. No animal would just kill a person and just get away with a second later. I saw that thing with my very eye. I don't know what the hell that is. But goddamn, I do not want to step near that thing. You clearly saw something? Must be a smudge on your glasses, Ash. If that keeps happening, take these damn glasses off. They look ridiculous on you. Uh, I see someone. Somewhere around 
the area. We are at the generators at the south of the island. Have you gotten our supplies yet? Hello? Hello? Man, why did we let Robert do all the work for us? He's wimpy as a shit for all I know. The generators. Looks like it's our spot. Come on, boys, we're in for a treat. Is this whole mission a good idea to begin with? We just went to some dangerous island just to kill prisoners. I'm not so sure- Give me a break. No prisoner is considered innocent. Just a bunch of renegades with the will to rebel against our conducts with any given moment. Conduct? What conduct? Stop whining about their innocence and get on with the mission. Robert may be a wimp, but he's our wimp. At least he fought the battle he prepared himself for. See, Max? Not all of them are friendly. They have guns. They even seem to be territorial, for all I could see. Maybe the guns are for self-defense? Self-defense, schmelf-defense. That's the very excuse every prisoner in our facility say. Careless bastards. Who the hell are these people over there? I don't know, but these people look friendly. Probably just making sure we don't bite. I'll give them a hearty welcome. Hey, I have a four-letter word that ends in you. F-U-C-K Dear God! B-Corp! Glad I'm prepared for this. What are you doing? Holding him down until rescue comes to take him back. No witnesses, Max. B Corp rules. Okay, okay, I get it. What do you want from us? Nothing. We just need to rid scum like you off B Corp property. We cannot let prisoners roam outside of the designated prisons. No, no. We didn't escape to hide here. We wanted to get out of here, but after hearing that you people go out and kill anyone who's wearing these stupid jumpsuits, 
We wouldn't want your rescue at all. You're no different from the pendejos that decimate us humans at prison riots. Even if some of us never did anything wrong. Oh, clearly there was something wrong, huh? There was, you oppressive assholes. Let me have a piece of you when I- Shut up. Hey, you get these darn knuckle hands taking away my power. You think I'm afraid of you? Oh, shit! God damn. Let's go after him then. What was that? Are you playing games with me? Ashwin, we need to chase this guy! That's right, you son of a bitch! Stay away from my side! I swear I saw a black figure- Stop necking around and focus! Isn't that supposed to be your talent? Max, what part of the observatory is he at? Yeah, I can see him. He's at the third floor. That's it. Now head over, and be careful. It's an open spot. You'll need to find some way to take cover. I'm behind you when you're in deep. Got it. Jack, cover him! Alright. Son of a bitch just shot a 357 on my goddamn chest. What does it look like? Come on, Fluffy Bear. You've been shot by a 5.56 millimeter once, and you walked out of it fine. Of course, Sweet Nectar, but at least I embraced every last shot I got. <clears throat> Not this. Would you moan later? This balloon is too damn hard to aim from. Are you crazy? Damn it, what are you doing? I must put an end to them before we leave first. No, Felix, no! <laughs> These prisoners are trying to leave this godforsaken island. Not at all, will they? See, son, they're not as innocent as you think they are. The bastards will be out to cause a lot more trouble than you think. Best we make sure no word of the place gets out. 
I can see that, but should we worry about the fact that- Doesn't matter. Why should you worry about that? I'm sorry, but I just don't understand any of this, okay? Whoa there. Didn't your mommy say not to raise your voice to grown-ups, huh? Enough. Both of you. We need to continue searching. Feeling better now, Fluffy Bear? Yeah. I can never get someone better than you, Sweet Nectar. It's great we're together on this. Of course. Once again. Remember our fifth mission together? Before our marriage. The search and rescue? Yeah. It was always straightforward. These men in red masks were always so gullible. You threw an unfused grenade at them and they ran screaming. <laughs> But the explosion never went off! Yeah, while our team is dispatching the goons, I rushed at the leader only for you to sneak up behind him and slit his throat. Ah, it works all the time. Best that I also remember that we were the only ones to survive that mission, too. Sucks those poor bastards at our team didn't get a chance to live. Yeah, such great memories. But I think we always have a... Are you okay, boy? You seem a bit upset. He seems to be quiet. Probably crying or something. Why are we doing this? Doing what? This. The, the killing. Being on this island. What's the point? Why the hell would an Alpha Squad member even ask why they're killing people? Jock? Kid. Don't vomit in my face. You sound so weak in my mind. I get it! I get it! What's with the ruckus? Commander, I'm feeling awful about this. So will all of your missions, son. This isn't an easy task. No, it's not that. It's just, why are we just on this island for another prison riot mission? Son, well, I forgot to address you to the way we say rescue in this team. The contractor says we're able to kill the human prisoners, regardless of their attitude to us. We were told they do not truly die, and that they might come back the next time our shift will begin soon. I don't remember the last time I saw the same prisoner when we did a mission, but I'll take his words with a grain of salt. So, all that is, is that people can come back to life somehow? I'm pretty sure the contractor isn't a reliable person to get your knowledge from. And Jack? Everyone starts He's out. not new to this. Looks like he's bullshitting us. Jack, he's not horny to kill someone like you are. I started off uneasy when I held this rifle, but I had to get used to it. Everyone has to. Don't act like he's brave enough to see guts spewing off. Remember the time you ran crazy from a flying cockroach? Hey, that cockroach caught me off guard. Sure, whatever you say. Mila, can I borrow your knife real quick? Sure, Ashwin. Have you ever felt that you wake up to a nightmare that has gotten too real? For every time I felt dead, I always wake up back at home. Nothing ever happened. I swore it feels like a nightmare somehow. I never imagine it as a temporary death. It's what health professors told me. Uh, hold on a second, are we living in a loop of nightmares and faux reality at this point? I know, Max. It's confusing as hell, but don't worry about death. Look, kid, I know you're feeling nervous, but regardless of our attitudes towards you, we're always on your side. Just remember that we will have to get rid of everyone we're assigned to kill. Then we can come home fast and safely. Hell, you can have thousands of stories to tell. I bet your youthful mind will be filled with them. Max, let me tell you about something. 
I was one of the original operatives of B Corporation, the big five that made up the original Alpha Squad many, many years ago. Ever since then, we followed our directives by the contractor, and we were educated on how humanity came here to live on this world. They created us for the sole purpose of keeping the species safe. We did as we were told to do. But because of how different we are compared to the human perception, no one took us seriously. We are humanoid, but we aren't human. As we started to take our occupation seriously, they still wouldn't buy our authority. The humans are repeating the very thing that brought them here. To run their own democracies and wage war on each other again. There's no such thing as peace, now is there? Nobody can agree on one thing that keeps them together. Soon enough, it got worse to the point where we have to keep an eye on them and put them in facilities to make sure they don't become wild animals again. Whoa, what happened in their original world? <sighs> it's been a long time since I even knew what went wrong. It started off with political buzz, ended with a white light from a distance. Aftermath is an everlasting ice age. The rest of humanity has to live here now, forever. Well. Besides us being quote-unquote humanoid, what else made us different? As far as I'm concerned, not only we are mercenaries, but we are also citizens. But unlike humanity, our authority is quite fixed to a system. We always obey the directions we follow. We're ran by a diplomat that never shows his face, and for some reason, we're still stuck doing this job. Alpha One, what is your status? Eleven prisoners are confirmed at sight. All of them down. We'll be finding even more of them. Excellent. I'll keep you updated on your status. <sighs> I'm getting a little bit cold and sleepy. Is the beef and beans still ready? Alright, we can talk a lot more tomorrow. We gotta chow down. Hell yeah, man. Stew's pretty hot.
Sir, do you think this whole operation is a bad idea? Nonsense. Why not about the truth? It can become contagious, and it will go out of hand. You know why we do this on a special occasion, right? Even knowing well enough about its risks? Risks. What risks? From the looks of it, we're sending in mercenaries in a classified location where none of our personnel are supposed to find out some very vital- Want to keep on talking? Sir. I need a custodian in my room right now. I have a master clean up here. <laughs>